Hey guys, now that I have your attention, I'm going to do a video today on broken bows. So, <sighs> bows break. Yes, you've seen the Armin video. Sometimes you can identify how bows break or uh, why they broke uh, by looking at them. So we're going to take a look at this guy. And if you're watching this eucalyptus, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm going to throw you under the bus for this. So <clears throat> I've had a few experts uh, look at this bow, um, Boyers and um, Pepple, who are really experienced in that. Uh, this bow was broken from, I'll, I'll have you guys, I'll have you guys. So see here, there's delamination in the carbon towards the core. This could be fixed since it's not in the core itself. It's just the delamination of the layer. You could just glue that sucker back on, but tip is broken. The horn tip is gone, exposing the carbon under layer. So how is this broken, perhaps? Uh, would the knock have fallen off? Let's check the other knock. Looks good construction to me. This is a UN Emperor. Um, if you want one, uh, it's not broken, let me know. Uh, this bow didn't break due to manufacturing, I will tell you. This bow broke <clears throat> due to a knock slipping off and dry firing. Uh, the customer did not say that. Um, he uh, did not say that at all. But judging by the location, it's on the bottom. Tip breaking off, dry fire, the energy going all the way down through. This is the stiffest limb of the um, of the two limbs, the bottom limb. So therefore, top limb would wiggle more, bottom limb being stiffer, would give out sooner than the top limb, um, thus shearing the tip off through the energy reverbing through the tip of the bow and just delaminating the bow right here. So we can fix it, but I don't really know how. Point is, <clears throat> let's move on to our next thing. Uh, so dry fire, that's number one. Two is limb twist. So Here's the top limb here. It's kind of, kind of see a little bit of twist, just a little, but if we go to the bottom limb here, oh boy, is that bad. Don't know if you guys can see how bad that is. But when I draw back, um, I need fucking eyeglass safety goggles for this. So I'm putting it at the front. See how much that limb bends? Holy shit. So I'm just drawing back straight. Do you see how much that detracts? So, see how it's not going to want to come in? I hope you guys can see that. It's not going to want to come in, it's going to go right there. So I'm, I'm not even touching the string right now. It's scary, I'm not even touching it. So I'm going to move it back on. Oh my god, it's scary. So this bush shouldn't even be, ah! shouldn't even be shot. Um, tell you the truth, this thing is a piece of crap. If anybody needs a Qinghai string, they can uh, actually have it to pay for shipping. Fuck that bow too. So, on to the next. Fuck that hurt. Um, this is a, a living arrow bow. This is a tricky one. So, you can look at it. Oh yeah, it looks fine. It's not much, ew. Ew. I'll tell you why in a sec. So, there's not much going on with this guy right here. Um, there's a little bit of delamination right here at the top sia. Hopefully you can see uh, that. <laughs> um, but otherwise it looks pretty okay. Uh, there's off coloring here, this is why. Off coloring right there on the other side. There's mold. This is a living arrow boat. It came to me moldy. Um, to be fair, it was really snowy in my area. And uh, yeah, but they didn't honor warranty or whatever. Point is, I have this bow, it's useless now, because it cracked, and it's moldy. So, I don't want this one either. Next, we have uh, this Alibo Tatar. It is 45 and 28, why would you do that with this bow? Holy shit. Um, strong. But the tips are broken off, so again, dry fire. Uh, it's not a tip, but right there. So you can fix this. This is fixable. You, um, Glue so you sand that down, glue some wood, reinforce it like this is reinforced. I'm gonna see it there, Re reinforce that, and boom, you could shoot it again. So, back to the limb twist issue. So, dry fire, dry fire, limb twist, limb twist. So, this is my babe's bow, Haley's bow. She left it in a car strung on a hot day with boxes on it, like this. So, we're like, fuck, how are we gonna fix it? Um, our boyer friend was like, I can't fix it really that well, 
But what I'm going to do is on the top limb, I'm going to shave, he said, part of the sea wood. So look at the, it ends here. This is the one that's shaved. See where that wood pattern ends? So look at it. I'm keeping my finger here. The other side, you see how it's not as deep down? So I'll show you from this angle. Maybe it's easier. But so if you just shaved it down so the pressure of the wood would go more one way than the other, um, which actually has made it a lot more easy for us to deal with the um, uh, tip twist, limb twist, whatever you want to call it, see a twist. Uh, we just check it when we shoot and just nudge it over a little bit, boom, it's good. Um, so what else? That's it. That's all I got for you guys. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you learned something about bows breaking, dry firing, and all that. Just take care of your bows. Um, yeah, have a good day.